Hibs has been in my blood since I was young. My dad is a massive Hibs fan. I remember one day he went up to his attic and brought down all these Hibs programmes and just random things, really, and he said, you keep them safe. And, yeah, the collections just grew and grew from there. My name's Matt and I collect everything Hibs. I started it purely because I love Hibs. Something about vintage retro stuff that I liked and I thought, I'm going to start a small collection. I didn't think it would get this big. I share this cupboard now with my daughter, Ava. As you can see, half of her clothes are in here. This was her first shirt. My daughter was born in 2021, and that's when I knew that I had to give up the man cave. So yeah, I've got a storage unit that I keep all my collection in. Quite emotional, you know, putting it away. It just brings back all the memories. This is the rest of the collection. As you can see, it's piled up. Um, lots of stuff. I mainly started the collection oh, it was about six years ago. I was back home in my parents' house and I realised, you know, they kept all my shirts and I thought, oh, I've got quite a few shirts here, around about 50. But shirts was the main thing. That was the, the starting point, collecting shirts, collecting programmes. But now it's everything. You know, I've got tea towels, I've got cushions, I've got caps, I've got, you know, you name it. Uh, football players' boots, old hips training gear, jackets, old patches. I've got pennants, you know, loads of pennants, you know, old season ticket books, old videos, old DVDs, anything Hibs, I'll collect it. Hibs tea towel. From tea towels to tops, you know, I'll collect anything. My favourite item in the Hibs collection, well, recently got Arthur Duncan match-worn shirt. As you can see, the old label there and the stitching on the side, pretty incredible. It's just something so unique. Having these older style shirts as well, there's not many about. The players only had one shirt back then. So to be able to own an item like that, for me, is special. So this is the 1950s stroke 60s style blazer that I acquired from, believe it or not, a charity shop in Leith Walk. It's got his name, McNiven. So Tom McNiven was the trainer at Hibs. Look at this, an old shopping bag from the club shop. Like, you know, who keeps them? Well, I do. So the weirdest thing in my collection is a pair of John Hughes's boxers, which sounds mad. Um, so I, yeah, I've got a, a match-worn shirt of his, um, but it came with his socks and his shorts, and inside the shorts are his boxer shorts. I don't think John Hughes knows that I've got them. Definitely the weirdest thing that I've got. So Hibernian Retro, it's just a platform where I upload photos of old Hibs players, the games, videos, just purely showcasing Hibs and that's where the collection kind of ties in with that as well. Memories are huge when it comes to football. You get a lot of comments being like, oh, I remember that game. My granddad took me to that game. My dad took me to that game. Being a nurse, I work with a lot of dementia patients. So, you know, I know firsthand that looking through images is a great way to help them with their memory. So why not get these out there and share them? Photos get lost, you know, memories get lost, and it's about bringing that back for people. I remember I bought a scarf from an auction site in Glasgow that had old patches on it. And I photographed it, put it online, and a guy got in contact with me saying, I think that's my scarf. But I lost it at Easter Road in the 70s. And he found an old photo that his mum took of him with his scarf. And you can tell it's his scarf because the way the patches are sewed onto it. So yeah, I got in contact with him saying, well, it's your scarf. Okay, I paid probably 50, 60 quid from an auction for it, but it belongs to you, you should have it. It was special for me to be able to give that scarf back because that's memories that he had as a kid. When you support a team, you like to know when you've won cups, when all oh, the best players you've had. You know, these, these things should be celebrated. You have to have a lot of patience. You know, buying these items costs money, but they're worth it, every penny. Collection will keep growing because the passion is always going to be growing. I don't think any collection can be complete. It just grows and grows. Probably by a time when you have to stop and be like, right, enough's enough. But, you know, that's when you hand it down. That's when you pass it on to someone else. You know, my dad handed his stuff to me, so it's something that I can tell my, my daughter what he collected and then show her what I collect. Uh, and you never know, she might even start her own little collection. <laughs>